What is up YouTube family and in this video we're going to be discussing stomach pain and back pain just what is the link and what can you do about it and we're going to get going right now. <laughs> Hi there everyone, my name is Dr. Craig Heinsohn from Loving Life Chiropractic in Ottawa, Canada. And in this video, we're gonna dive straight into stomach pain and back pain, just what is the link? So if you like this sort of information, and in particular, if you're interested in issues with the upper spine and lower spine, how it affects your nerve system, then you might like to subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoy this information, hit the like. If you don't, then spank the dislike. In either case, leave a little comment so we know how we can improve things next time. And also what that does is it drives the algorithm so that you making a comment helps other people improve their health. And we're gonna dive straight in right now. And the question we've got this week is stomach ache and back pain. What is the link? A lot of people come into our office and we take a thorough history. We go into a lot of detail. We ask questions about all the different states. The reason we do that is we want to get a, a wide picture of what's going on. The reason we want to get a wide picture of everything that's going on is so that we can assess what's happening now, okay? And then we start adjusting, 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 and we assess what's happening later on. Now, when we ask what's happening with you, don't ask what you know back pain and neck pain you've got. We ask you what health challenges you have. Because if there's an interference in the nerve system, then it's gonna manifest itself in some way that sometimes we can't even fathom why these disease states are happening, okay? But clearly, if there's interference on the body's uh, nerve system, then that is gonna have an implication of control throughout the body and then therefore will have an implication in that person's function and therefore directly affects that person's health. Let's talk a little bit about the stomach first. So the stomach is a little bit like an acid filled washing machine. Your stomach within your body right at the moment is some of the strongest acid known to man. Hydrochloric acid, which is secreted from the cells, specialized cells in the center of the stomach. The reason that's secreted is to break down the food that you eat into smaller and smaller particles so the body can actually use it, okay? Now, at the top and the bottom of the uh, stomach, there's a pipe and each of those pipes has a valve called a sphincter that squeezes tight. So food goes in, the bottom sphincter closes tight, acid goes in, the top sphincter closes tight, and then the stomach actually churns itself to mix the food and the acid together so that it can break down. Okay, and then at the end, the bottom valve opens up, the, the slushy fluid and food comes out, starts to get absorbed through the small intestine. Okay, um, and the process repeats. Now, this is the interesting thing, or this is the, I, I used to get a lot of people come to me and when we go through their history, they would say things like, well, I had acid reflux. So that's when acid comes back up into the chest, or it's also called heartburn. Um, um, or they have irritable bowel syndrome. Now to me, as a chiropractor, looking at the anatomy of the stomach and understanding the nerves that control the valves of the stomach, the, uh, the acid reflux is, is basically this, the top valve leaking and allowing material up into the throat or possibly the bottom valve leaking. And what that does is, the, as the acid leaks, it goes down into the small intestine and the bowel. So this was, an, in fact, how irritable bowel syndrome could potentially manifest itself. Now, what is the link? This is the nerve map. And we'll see as we go down the spine, as you move down the spine, uh, the brain communicates into the body through C1, the master control switch, then into the neck, which we call the cervical spine, which is just a fancy Latin word, which means neck. So the first seven bones are neck bones. And then the next uh, 12 bones are mid-back bones or thoracic bones. It basically means the part of the spine that has ribs attached to it, the thorax, okay, that has ribs attached to it. Now this one here, T6, the nerve that comes out between uh, T6 bone and T7 bone, those two vertebrae, 
uh, that nerve is called T6 and it goes to the stomach and the mid back area so it actually goes to the muscles of the mid back but it also goes to the control system not only recreating the cells that make up the specialist lining within the stomach so can uh, but also uh, powering the valves at the top and the bottom now this nerve map is an approximation obviously uh, everyone varies a little bit so there could be some variation in this but the idea as long as you get the idea that if you have mid back pain t6 t5 t7 area perhaps because the neck's been forward for a long time so this has been arching that's called a kyphosis when the back is more arched than it usually is and perhaps that arching has put pressure on the nerves coming out of t5 t6 t7 area which over a period of time causes a reduction in the quality and quantity of signal coming from the spine to the stomach which over a period of time could conceivably lead to a breakdown in tissue formation in the stomach or maybe a breakdown in the strength of the valve contraction uh, which over a period of time is going to lead to acid reflux vomiting things like stomach ulcers then we just monitor them and then six weeks later six months later six years later we reassess 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 see what's changed because obviously as we start to reestablish the nerve signals there is a process that takes time 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 so i hope that has been of some interest that gives you an idea of why stomach pain and back pain can be linked and for a very real and uh, tangible reason okay i hope you've enjoyed that if you have put some comments down below what do you like the most any questions for me next time slap those down below as well thank you for watching to the end of the video and as always i have a gift for you if you'd like to subscribe down there to the left i'll drop you a notification as soon as the next video is downloaded in the meantime right down there i have a playlist for you and just here to the right i have a video that i think you'll find very interesting see you on the next one